Hey, what is up guys? Today is a icy Saturday. Uh, it's January 30th, 2021. And as promised, I have my Chinese ration that I'm gonna be reviewing today. And this is gonna be the first of a three-part series because there is only three menus for this specific type of ration, which I will explain to you guys in a second. And um, so I'll be doing this one today. I'll do the second one, menu number two, midweek, and then I'll do menu number three next weekend. So yeah, stay tuned. So this is a type 13 Chinese ration, uh, menu number one. And this isn't just the standard type 13. It's a bit confusing because the type 13 is used for a bunch of different rations, but I'll explain to you here. Um, so the standard type 13 ration is a bigger US MRE sized uh, ration that contains, you know, rice, noodles, side dishes, and a drink, uh, a heating element, which is the flameless ration heater, of course, uh, as well as a spoon. And then that one has multiple menus and it's very filling, of course. I haven't tried it yet. It's gone quite expensive over the last year or two, but this is the ration that is a bit smaller. This is the type 13, not necessarily survival or compressed, but I'd like to call this a lightweight ration. There's no official name for it. There's only three menus for these and they come with compressed cereal bars. Um, you get 250 grams of compressed cereal bars here. And it has approximately the same amount of calories as the standard type 13 ration, but there's only three menus and there's no heating element, no drink, no spoon. Uh, so you just get compressed cereal bars and some side dishes or yeah. And then lastly, you have the smaller boxed survival ration, which is only the cereal bars. So those are the three tiers of the type 13 Chinese rations. And uh, in this specific ration here, we have, um, this is like, beef and sauce, like a soy sauce beef. And then here we have pickled radish. Um, so it's not too much, there's no drink in here. And it has 5,235 kilojoules. And if I learn anything from my 10th grade science class is that uh, you can convert kilojoules to kilo kilocalories or kcals or our normal calories. And one calorie equals five, uh, 4.18, four joules, I think. Um, so one kilocalorie equals Five point, I mean, 4.184 kilojoules. So here we have about, I'd say like, um, like 1200, 1250 calories. And that's the standard amount of calories. So I have my trusty French knife. I haven't been using this knife for the um, MRE reviews because I don't want to get it dirty, but also, I guess I'll start using this. So let's just cut this open. Oh, and lastly, before we get started, this is a 2019 August 25th data production. For your information. It cuts very nicely. And would you look at that? Let's see. So that's empty in there. It's a very small ration, by the way. It's the size of my hand. I don't have to, I don't have two big hands. But um so here's our pickled beef. This is beef and this is sauce. And it's quite simple, the ingredients. Some MSG, some uh, sugar, some salt, and then for something else for flavors from what I could read. And then we also have, and that's a 40 gram portion. We also have 20 grams of pickled radish. Again, somewhat simple ingredients, but you will have MSG and preservatives. And lastly, we have our two uh, 125 gram cereal bars, type 13 cereal bars. Of course, these are quite calorie dense. So I'll be keeping one of these sealed, of course, because we have two of them and I'm not gonna eat these on camera. They're gonna take way too long. So we'll just be testing these out. So let's start with the beef, because why not? looks maybe like me. It smells, it smells like a canned pork pate, I guess, or jelly pork, pork and jelly. Any, any sort of generic meat and jelly is what it smells like. It doesn't particularly smell like beef. And you don't get too much of it. It's only a 40 gram portion. So that's as much as you get, not even a handful. I mean, it looks fine. It's nice and jelly. Oh, pretty slippery as well. Didn't get any on my table. So let's just, I forgot to bring a spoon or fork, but I mean, it doesn't come with one, so might as well eat with the hand. Mm. 
salty, savory, a bit sweet. It's actually really nice. Um, the beef is quite stringy and it falls apart. It's kind of like beef jerky, but hydrated. You guys have ever had that? Flavor is really nice. So it's not just like a soy sauce flavor, but has more complexion to it. You can definitely taste the MSG. It's very savory. Honestly, it's really delicious. But it gets quite salty after a while. It's just like that umami savory beef jerky is what it is. Comparable to Jack Link's. Oh. Let's go for one more bite. Yum. And it's fused together with some sort of gelatinous texture fluid. Actually, I might as well eat this whole thing. You can definitely taste that it was braised in soy sauce. But it's not dry. I really like the texture. And on a cold day like today, it's actually a really good snack. Mm. Oh shoot, I was gonna try to get a shot of all the components together, but it's only three components and you're barely getting any food. So, whatever. At least I enjoyed it. 20 grams of pickled radish. About to go down the hatch. Looks like sauerkraut. Smells like sauerkraut. So we have a bit of a yellowy fluid. Sort of like vinegar, I guess. Salt or something that must have been preserved in. It's hard to get everything out. But... We got like 80% of it out. And again, a measly little portion. So if you guys have had pickled radish before, it smells more on the sauerkraut side than it does like the Japanese pickled radish that's dyed yellow. Um, if you ever go to like a Japanese restaurant or even Korean restaurants, they have that. Um, it should be crispy and yeah, let's give it a try. Wow, it's really good. It's, even though it's quite small, you get thinly sliced bits of radish. It's nice and crispy, has good texture, and it's held up. And it's pretty juicy, because, I mean, it's been it's been sitting in its own juices for a while. It's a bit sweet, ever so slightly salty, and most of all, what's really surprising is the kick of that spice. There's actually a hint of spice in there. So let's go for a bigger bite. Excuse me for using my hands. Mm, that spice, phenomenal. On cold day, this is just what you want. If you're hungry, you just need something to even give you a morale boost. Because even though you only get 60 grams of side dishes, they're very flavor packed. And you can make it, you can make a little go a long way. All right, moving on to the cereal bar. I don't think these are flavored or anything. So I guess they're individually vacuum sealed within the package. So you get two of these packs, but within these packs, you get two smaller bars. You have to see shrink wrapped in that plastic. It doesn't make it look exactly appetizing, but let's just go for one of these bars right here. Are you able to open it without a knife? I think so. Actually, it's kind of hard. I'll just cut it open here. There we go. Let's just leave the other bar here. It's not the most appetizing meal, but for the same amount of calories as a standard ration, and probably half the weight and half the size, it's quite impressive. So it's quite crisp and it breaks very easily. It smells like very generic bread. It actually smells like um like unsalted crackers. 
but like the ones that try to imitate like dough or bread I'm not really sure how to explain it it's like it's weird it's like crispy bread but like unsalted is what this smells like that's actually probably the best way to put it and you can already tell it's really dry it's quite it's quite powdery let's just give it a try I'm expecting it to be a bit salty and um, quite dense but we'll see I guess I was pretty much right about it being dry and dense. It's not as dry as I expected it to be. I mean, when you see this, you're gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna choke to death, but it's not horrible. And you know what? It's sweet, it's really pleasant actually. If this was salty, it might be a bit harder to get down, but the fact that it's sweet makes it a bit more palatable. And I don't know if I've ever had anything that's comparable to this. It's just like, you know, like sweet, like bread flavored dough is what it is once it's in your mouth. It's quite nice. I'll take another bite of this. The good thing is it has calorie dense. So, in just a small handful, you're probably getting like 200, 250 calories here. You get four of these. I'm just gonna finish this up and then wrap the video. Let's see how fast I can eat this. I have my water bottle, but hmm. yeah, I need water. After your second bite, you're not getting this down. All right, we're done. So, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for another midweek MRE. I'll be doing menu number two. And we're going to have the cereal bars again, but we're going to have two different side dishes, or hopefully different side dishes. And I'll catch you then. So stay safe. Peace out.